All right, guys. So these modern trucks from Ram, from Jeep, um, they have these really annoying nanny features on them, right? And one of them I've already showed you in a previous video how to kill that. Um, the one called Auto Park, where if you don't have your seatbelt on and your door is not fully closed, it will not let you drive the truck. So let's say that you just open the door and you hop in and you're kind of looking at the door because you're trying to line up your truck with a boat or a trailer or whatever the case might be. You know, stuff that guys have been doing for decades and decades and decades. Well, now you can't do that anymore because the powers that be at Ram have decided that electronically, they're just not going to let you do it. If you try to do that, the truck locks down into park. It won't let you drive it. It's super annoying. I hate nanny features. Um, anyway, so I showed you, you can just go on Amazon or wherever and get one of these seat belt extenders. You know, this one doesn't even have a strap on it. And if you're a really big guy, you can, you can get these that have straps on them that really do extend the buckle. But all this does is it snaps into the seat belt uh, receptacle. You can still use your seat belt normally after that. So, and I do, every time I go out on the highway, I always use my seat belt. But if I'm around the property or just trying to hook up a trailer or whatever the case might be, I don't have to worry about auto park anymore. So 20 bucks, some of the best 20 bucks I've ever spent. But this truck being a 2022 model has a feature on it that I really hate where it will beep at you. It'll honk the horn three times if I step out of the truck. So let's say I pull up to the store. Um, I want to run in real quick and grab something or you know, like in my case, when I'm pulling a trailer, I can't pull up to my mailbox to get my mail out. I have to actually kind of pull over a little bit and then get out and go grab the mail. Uh, so anyway, I've got the truck running. Don't want to shut it off. I put it in park. Even if you set the park brake, it doesn't matter. As soon as you get out of the truck, it honks. And it's really annoying, especially if you're in town and there's people around because obviously they're going to look to see why you're blowing your horn. Super annoying. Well, I have discovered that this Taser programmer, which I have had for a long time, uh, I've had this thing for like four years. I bought this back when I had the JL Wrangler. So if you remember those videos, that was like way back in like, gosh, 2018, I guess. Uh, so anyway, I've had this for a long time, but you can, you can uh, update the firmware if you've got one of these things. Let's say you have a Jeep and then you go and you buy a RAM pickup like I did, you can go onto the site, you can download the firmware, update the firmware on this thing and use it on your RAM, uh, which is what I've done. But anyway, the Taser programmer, if you've got one of these, and a lot of you guys have one already, because if you put big tires on or whatever, you can use this to program it. Uh, well, this also has a feature now where it will kill that three honk feature. So uh, using the Taser programmer, you can set it, so that when you get out of the truck, it doesn't blow the horn at you and everybody else around you. So uh, just FYI on that, it's a simple way to fix it. Um, I don't think the dealerships are gonna turn it off for you. I don't know that you even can. Uh, some guys on the forums are talking about that. They looked through Alpha OBD, couldn't even figure out how to do it. Uh, but the guys that do the taser, Joe, I think his name is, uh, have figured it out, I guess. That's one of the features. You'll have to get the latest version, but if you got a taser programmer, you can uh, turn that off. So let me show you. All right, so obviously I have the old version, which means I've got the uh, separate gateway module. So this is the piece that plugs into the OBD port, but then you've got the other piece that plugs into the security module. So let me get up in here. Here's what that looks like. Well, if I can hang on to it. So you're gonna have to get kind of on your back and reach up in there with a flashlight, you'll be able to see it pretty easily. I'm still pissed off that they deleted the inverter and everything out of this truck, but I think that one of the benefits is it cleans up the space up under the dash because this is not nearly as cluttered up under there. So you'll be able to see it pretty easily. You just disconnect those two harnesses, snap them into that gateway module. And then once you do that, you can take this piece and plug it into your OBD port. All right, let's start the truck up. And we'll let everything get going here, just for a brief moment. 
All right. And then we're going to access the taser menu. And then you're just going to go to live settings. And this is the one that you want. It says kill three honk. So we're going to turn that on. And now when we hop out of the truck, engine is running. We're going to hop out of the truck with the key in my pocket. I'm going to walk back here and you notice that it did not honk his horn at me. <laughs> That's awesome. So now you can finally step out of your truck and do what you need to do without everybody around you staring at you, wondering why you're blowing the horn at them. So there you go. If you've got a taser programmer, you can kill this feature. Thank you to the people at Taser. I really appreciate it.